everybody is affected by this pandemic around the world. Everybody. And unfortunately, the small business, the middle class person is getting fucked up. And bailouts are being done left, right, and center. But what I want to focus on today is things that you can do today. Listen, in great times of despair, I know it is it is hard to feel optimistic when you have depression setting in and you have all this pressure on you. But there is ways to come out of this. And hopefully us working together through community, through suggestions, through not, through support networks, we can come through this. So I got this question. I want to quickly answer this question. Hopefully this helps. And so the question is this. This is from uh, Shauna. So <laughs> sorry if I butcher your name. I'm a web developer and I've rented office space just for meeting new clients. Actually, I've done most of my software projects for several years for my home. If I get rid of my office, I can't expand my business, but I can't help the current situation and reduce my cost significantly. What's your idea, Amir? Thanks for your valuable content. Well, first of all, thank you for being open and transparent and, and sharing with uh, us your situation. Listen, the reality is this. As I mentioned in my last video, if you guys have burn, eliminate your fucking burn. The office space is not really a necessity for your business right now. It's a liability. Let's be honest. And you mentioned your web developer. I have friends of mine that run agencies that are 80 people agencies with no offices at all. No offices. And they deal with Fortune 500 companies. They deal with banks. And basically all they do is they're a web agency. They deal with marketing. They deal with paid, paid acquisition. They deal with uh, conversion rate optimization. Think about it, 80 person agency that has zero, 80 person agency that does not have an office. So number one, as I stressed out before in the last video, reduce your burn. That office is not a necessity. I would get rid of the office. And what I would do right now is a couple things. And this applies for everybody listening to this, or listening or watching this video. Number one, your previous customers that you have in the past, reach out to them right now and Ask them, how are they doing? This isn't a time to sell. This isn't a time to push your products. This is a time to reconnect. This is a time to be human. So just reach out. How are you doing? Do you need any help? You know, just be human. That's the first thing I would do. I, I would I would reconnect with your previous customers. So the second thing what you got to do is, listen, you're already accustomed to work, working from home. And it's now going to become more and more status quo for people to do business online. Specifically consultation. My buddy has an 80 person agency, no offices. And so this is what you need to do right now, man. You need to like cut the bullshit, cut the office, focus on reinitiating uh, your old clients by just seeing how they're doing. Don't sell them anything. Get rid of the office and start doubling down on working on yourself. This now, this opportunity, this lockdown, depending on where you are, I'm assuming maybe United States or maybe Canada or somewhere in Europe, this lockdown gives you opportunity to really analyze your business and to really focus on, oh, you know, if two weeks or three weeks of isolation or three weeks of runway is all I have, that's not really a business. And most businesses are, you know, emperor without clothes when the water disappears. And so you need to really focus on like, how do I... How do I create more of an anti-fragile business? How can I start expanding more online? How can I create more systems? And at the end of the day, I would take this time for everybody out there to really focus in on system building. Really audit your business that you're in right now and really focus on, okay, listen, we're always, we're going, always going to have hardships in the future. This is a fucking given. You can't escape hardships, personal hardships, economic hardships, uh, un unforeseen events like natural disasters happen. These things will happen and it's really important that all of us figure out, do we put contingency plans into our systems? And we should all have some type of contingency. I'm not talking about two, three years. I'm talking about some small contingency plans. So going back to your question, get rid of that office. You don't need that office. Retouch base with your old customers and clients. Just see how they're doing and then start focusing on how you can really double down on your online presence. And start building up your brand, start building up your equity, start building up. When I mean by equity, I mean brand equity, human equity. Uh, I mentioned in the last video, guys, you need to really put yourself out there. You need to start adding value to people. 
I think it was like six months ago, maybe less. I made a video about, at least when it comes to marketing, where how you're getting clients. And it's going to be difficult in this, uh, in this environment, but this applies after everything is done is most people that do traditional sales where it's like, they're going to knock on somebody's door. Hey, I have this web design service. What do you want my services? You're like a commodity at that point. I'm a big, big believer in not becoming a commodity, but becoming a linchpin, becoming that purple cow Seth Godin talks about. And so what I would recommend is instead of you just becoming a commodity, like, hey, hi, I exist, is if you find a good clientele, is do the work already. I'm not saying do it at all, but I'm saying, hey, think about the difference from this. Imagine you approach me like, hey, Amir, I audited your website. I've done the UI UX, and I'm just assuming maybe you're a front-end developer. I've done the UI UX. This is what I think should be done. Here's some code that you can use. You know, no pressure on you, but this is why I believe that this will take your business to the next level. Here, here you go. Here's a here's a three-page thing, and you can send it to the GitHub, whatever. You can use like uh, uh, Envision, some wireframes. Here you go. As opposed to somebody just saying, hey, you want to use my service. Who do you think I would choose between you or some person just knocking my door saying, use my service? And so this is why it's really essential to stand out from everybody else. One thing that's going to be really crystal clear after the fucking dust settles from all this shit is whoever starts focusing on human relationships, understanding the person, understanding empathy, understanding the human condition will win like hands down. People are fed up with the same old fucking cookie cutter bullshit. So I hope this video helps you out. We're all in this together. If you guys need anything from me, holler at me. I'm here, man. Leave a comment below this video. If you guys need any help, whatever it is, you know, whether it's business help, personal help, whatever, maybe in financial, just holler at me. I'm here for you guys. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.